Hello, my soccer universe. Yes, another hockey jersey, Vancouver Canucks, but you know, same, still same thing applies. It's cold outside, and all my long sleeve jerseys are done somewhere else. So, so be it. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank you for your really nice comments and replies to my video on the fake jerseys uh, that I have or had in my collection. Because the good news is that all of them are not in my collection any, any, anymore. As I said at the end of the video, two of these my girls grabbed. Uh, the one was the Ajax jersey, uh, which I was in a way happy about because after all it was a present, so it should have stayed in the, fam in the family. And the other one is the Iceland jersey that my other daughter grabbed. Um, they look like dresses on them, but they liked them, so I was fine with that. And with the remaining jerseys I made packages that I sold for 15 euros each. In the end, it turns out I had to make two packages, um, sold them off. And the good news for me from that is that I have now a little bit more um, funds to uh, get a few more jerseys for this month because I honestly am already <laughs> over budget. And this is one important thing. I'm, I usually try to have a little budget for me, but I was already over budget for February, so get out. So there will be unboxing videos soon, and even better, I could actually replace one for sure and sort of replace a second one. But I wanna use this video to kind of uh, tell you from what I've learned, not only from making this video and getting the great reaction, but what I learned generally about fakes. Um, First of all, um, I realized that especially if you like me and you want to have a lot of jer jerseys, you don't want to spend for every single jersey full price. I really do not want to have them for me. And maybe wearing a hockey jersey is not a bad thing. Uh, one of my favorite channels is the Hockey Guy and uh, he's probably the inspiration behind me making this channel. Uh, if you're interested in hockey, uh, you might actually like his channel too. It's, it is sim it's similar. He has, of course, a whole lot more subscribers, but you know, uh, that's an entirely different uh, story for an entirely different vi vi video. And he gave the idea that I honestly didn't really have, um, that he says, I don't play full price. And I came to the same conclusion. Yeah, for soccer jerseys, you can apply the same thing. I do not pay full price. And then I had the other um, idea to look for private sellers. Uh, there are apps out there, you know, eBay does it. Uh, there are others as well, like Spock or um, I think in, in Britain, Depop, which I don't have. Or well, other pages uh, are very popular to sell off uh, used jerseys. And most of the time that they're cheap. However, these sites are very much flooded with fakes and you saw I got a few fakes, although I think I got a way more deals. Um, eBay is also full of fakes. It is, if you are trying to grow a collection on a budget, it is unfortunately a reality that you will eventually end up with fakes. So uh, that is one realization that I have. And although I got now rid of all my fakes, I the likelihood is another fake will enter here. Um, like the hockey guy, I actually took uh, some inspiration from that and said, yeah, no, uh, the good thing about getting a fake is that you can actually make a video about uh, that one and show what is fake about it. And maybe even better, get a replacement short and show reality versus, versus fake. I did this with the Nigeria jersey that I have. I did this with the Sevilla jersey that, that I have, or even show, uh, how can you fi figure it out in general things? I have, so this is the first learning. The second one, every fake is an opportunity somewhere. Um, I hate them. I have to say the fakers got really, really, really well. I mean, when I started collecting in the 90s, you could tell a fake dress because simply they didn't have the logo sometimes under. It was so fake that it was pretty clear. This is not a real, this is not, not a real de de uh, the deal. I mean, the, uh, the naive person that I was most of the time, I thought, 
um, and that was already in 2000 when, when I got those France and, and so on jerseys, that the fakers are not allowed to put the manufacturer's logos on there. <laughs> <laughs> how wrong I was about that. So yeah, you know, uh, being naive is definitely part part of it, but you learn from those. So uh, I want to replay, I'm trying to replace every single one of those fakes, but I give myself time. Some are easy, some are not so easy, and I will let, let you know which, which ones I, I replaced. I replaced one with the exact same. The other one, I got a similar jersey, but not the exact same one. So um, that's fine by me. The second one is um, always when you, especially when you uh, buy from a private seller, always ask for more pictures. And if you know what to look for, um, ask very specifically. Um, I especially, for instance, for Adidas jerseys, it's really, really easy, especially if you buy one from 2000 on. Around the two, 2000s, they started to put tags. Um, a special tag in the jersey. Everything here, even this here, can be faked. But uh, what is the new thing is, and it's very important that um, for jerseys like this one that were made in the noughties, you find this tag. It's a small tag on the lower part of the jersey, and it's this little, little tag here. And it started out I don't know, I, I, I have to pull one. Started out a little bit differently, but it's always the same shape, the same size. And then uh, here you have kind of the codes on there. It shows you the date when the jersey was manufactured, like this one in 05, uh, in May 06. And then it gives you also uh, the second line, the product code. Just Google Adidas and this code, and if this jersey pops up, you have an authentic jersey. It is that simple. Uh, the code moved uh, around 2010 towards the neck, another Milan jer jersey, and it actually is on the left side, on the left shoulder, on the inside collar, where the three stripes are. You find here, this one was made in October 11. This is and you can look that code up and if that jersey pops up you have the real deal as i said uh the code for the two adidas jerseys that i had the germany one and the ix one was both the columbia home um if you don't have stripes and this is the last one the Leicester here uh it's still on the right shoulder it's a it's always a little bit more towards the back uh, you have that that one here. So this is a very easy way for adidas jerseys. For Nike jerseys I made a video because uh, for me those tags that they have, the authentic tags that you see here, they can be so, they are on a picture very often easily faked. It's very hard, hard to tell, but the one thing that Nike jerseys have, especially as of late, the tags on Nike jerseys are always on the sleeves. I cannot overstate this fact. They're always on the sleeves. Uh, whereas all the other manufacturers usually have the tag somewhere on the collar around this where Adidas has the tag. So uh, it's a little bit harder to distinguish there, but you know, certain things. I That's why when I do an unpacking video of a new jersey, I usually try to show you where the tags are. I forgot to do this with the North Macedonia jersey and I think some of the Italy Puma jerseys. I have not taken the tags off because I want to make dedicated videos for this and show uh, where the tag tags are before I take it off and then actually finally wear this jersey. Uh, similar stuff for the Cologne Carnival jersey. I have this is still in prime condition. I'm not sure how often I will wear it. I actually I love it so much. I want to keep it in the best condition possible. Um, I haven't even washed it yet. So that's where I stand on that one. So ask for more pictures. Um, you can also, you know, the text this is always a sure fire, a fire sign, but sometimes uh, even at the crest, especially when it's an older jersey, remember this Spain 2008 jersey, if you look at the crest and you look at the real crest, you saw that the crest was much thinner. Uh, the Brazil 2002 jersey, which is actually in my Nike video as an authentic, which of course it was not, uh, which, tell, which tells you, you'll learn. The crest Size-wise, it's probably right, but it's a lot more squat uh, than a real crest is. So very often, it's just the dimensions are a little bit off, and you only can see it when you have the two next to each other. That's uh, the sucky part, and that's why I actually, when I get a fake jersey, I try to 
want to get the real one as well to see uh, to show the differences um for one of the jerseys that i will replace i will it is the spain jersey let's not uh, do it around it i will get the spain jersey replaced uh without torres on on there but it's very very clear and so that is that and yeah, uh, another reason why I get this, got this fakes is basically my laissez-faire ad 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 attitude. You want to get a good deal, you have to take a risk sometimes. And you know, I'm although I make this channel, I, I sometimes I'm too afraid to ask questions, and then I check it out. That uh, looks alright, maybe not. I mean, uh, that's my problem. So yeah, uh, I gave you my botheredness level, uh, but there are lessons to be learned from every such mistakes and this is probably the positive spin that i will take out of that um the other thing is you know private sellers care careful i have learned now in another youtube channel that i want to uh, recommend although most of you probably have seen it is away days where he actually i always recommend not ebay but i have to uh but he made a very good point buy on ebay because if they don't say that this is uh if they don't tell you that this is a fake or if they claim this is an original and you see it's a fake you have buyer protection so uh you win such a case every single time so and you can send it back uh i make the rule everything that comes and i hate to say it because i actually um I'm not against this country, but everything that comes from China or from East Asia, I'm not even looking at because we know that the age gate is there. And yes, if you want to buy a fake, uh, that's the other thing I learned from Awaitis. He has a great video. Maybe I should link it up there. He has a great video fakes. If you really, really need to buy a fake, buy it from the age gate because all the other fake sellers buy also from there, but charge a little bit more. So I don't absolutely do not rec recommend this so that's other things that i have learned i have tried the ebay experience now i ordered a jersey as well from ebay and now let's see how this will one will work out i'm fairly certain it's a real jersey but i'm not 100 100 so uh, the buy the seller though has made very clear he made many many pictures with all the little details that, that anyone lo look for so that's why i'm fairly certain if there's a lot of doc doc documentation and not just a picture that's usually a good sign uh, that an authentic product will be sold so i guess those are my lessons now the reason why i mean i don't like fakes first first of all they Although I could sell a few of them in pack pack packages uh, and it has some values maybe for some sales to trick people. I sold them by telling this is not, these are non-originals and I even got the question back. This look very real and I said, yeah, they do, but they're not they I know for sure that they're fake. Uh, people want to make money with them and I feel a little bit bad. I'm pretty sure that some of these churches will uh, soon pop up some, some somewhere and sold for more. I just want to get rid, rid of them and get a little bit budget. Should have given them to charity. I honestly did not think about it. I regret that a little bit too. Maybe I should have just given them to charity. Uh, that would have been a nice touch. A little bit charity I did. I gave two to my girls. Uh, but you know, it's, they stay within the family. So whether you count them in the collection or not. So yes, uh, those are the things. But the reason I really don't want to have fake church is because the whole in the industry behind it. We already have that the working conditions that our favorite churches here are produced are rather dire for fake jerseys it's even worse and there's usually also some organized crime or whatever uh behind it it's not a pretty industry at all and go much deeper but you know you so if you buy a fake you support it in the industry if you buy a real jersey yeah you might be, uh, support big corporations that also exploit people but at least not as much as the others if I would go deeper thinking, I would uh, I probably should even stop uh, <laughs> collecting jer uh, jerseys, but for that, I love them too, too much. So yeah, the last thing that I want, I, I, I want to say, when I say with the Adidas jerseys, checking the tags, I knew this trick maybe from last year on. And 
I was so hesitant to try this for every single jersey that I have. I saw a few, I saw a few, and I know, I remember I pulled out the Spain jersey and I didn't see the tag. It's a very, very disappointing uh, task that if you find out that a jersey that you thought is real turns out to be fake. There cannot be a greater disappointment. I totally get, get it, but in the end, um, I came to the realization I'd rather know than uh, stay fooled. And as I said, I then decided to rid myself of these. So yes, I know. Um, if you're on Facebook, also the Football House is a page that you want to subscribe to because they also give you always the hints on especially Nike and other Adidas. This is where I learned those tricks. It is very, I think it's very important to stay informed on uh, these jerseys, whether they're real or, or not. And yes, the, the disappointment can, can be big. I mean, I lost a France jersey and an Italy jersey, I knew that they're fake, but from a 2006 World, World Cup, uh, which are impossible to get for a decent price at this moment. So be it. You gotta make peace with it. I'm sorry to say. Uh, it is really that way I decided for, for myself I'd rather have I'd rather not pretend and have the real deal so that's what I learned from it from the whole experience again thank you so much for your responses this was a video that was hard for me to make I knew that I, need, I needed to make it I made the decision last week I'm gonna sell this stuff uh, or I'm gonna get rid of this stuff uh, one way or another. Then I got the idea of maybe selling it and I decided to sell them uh, in a packet that I really can get rid of. Or also some jerseys are not as desirable. And yeah, I think it was over a very positive experience. Yes, I do have some re regrets. One regret is of course the probably the packet that I made with the two thousand six with the three two thousand thousand six jerseys. I could probably could have charged twice as much and I would they still would have sold. But I honestly, it would feel a little bit like cheating. If I sell uh, four thirty or five thirty for 15, I think I can live with that. I even sold my first ever Brazil jersey because it was a fake as well, because I have a proper replacement there. And there's a video about that one too on my channel. Go to the playlist uh, collection and I made a playlist with fake jerseys, but this one's in there as well, so you can see all there. Okay. It's also at the end of the video. Let me know again what you thought about all these fakes of me doing the fake video. What are your experiences with fakes? Um, I know what you guys are doing. Mean, meanwhile, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna uh, see more videos like this. I will keep making. As soon as a fake comes or if I see something, I will make a video about it. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.